All right, thank you, Tony. So here on GMK, we're going to see how fast. Oh, you hear that? Oh, Tony's running over here. Look at him. Yes, success story. I am amazing. High five, man. Lightning law back Woo! right here. We're all about it. So this morning on GMK, a, a lot of people, okay, so I share pictures of Stefan making it home all the time on Facebook, and people are always like, what do you do? How do you make it? And I'm like, I don't know. I just <laughs> toss things in a bowl here. So we're going to kind of construct a broccoli salad recipe that – I've made recently and it's so, so good and so simple. And it could be great to bring to your potluck today or save it for your barbecue later on. I'm gonna have you, Tony, while I whip up some of the stuff for the recipe, I'm gonna come have you come over to this side of me. Okay. I'm gonna have you start cutting up. There's bacon in this recipe and it's gonna be amazing. So broccoli salad includes broccoli, your sharp cheddar cheese, red onion, sugar. I'm even gonna add some sunflower seeds to here as well as our lemon juice, our um, mayo, and a little bit of our seasoning and we'll be good to go. But I have a little bit of our broccoli already in this bowl. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way because it's not the biggest bowl in the world, but I will eventually add the rest of it while Tony chops up this bacon. And dude, there's some more bacon to the side there. I say go add <laughs> there it. There is never enough bacon. We had Brennan, our editor here for the show. I, he, he's like, I wanna go to Dylan's. Do you need anything? And I'm like, as a matter of fact, I do because I don't have enough bacon at my house. So. Like I said, I have about six cups of broccoli here that I chopped up. You could even chop up the stem if you want, or, or what I did recently was I shredded it. I got my grater out, put it all together. Pretty interesting. I'm gonna add about a cup of mayo in here. If you're gonna do anything, I'd say go with the mayo. I'm not a big mayo person, but I've been finding ways with recipes to enjoy it. So it looks like a lot, but once you start mixing this with all the ingredients, it won't be so bad. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, and I may even add more Do you more celebrate mayo Cinco de Mayo? Yeah, Cinco <laughs> de Mayo. We have some Cinco de Mayo guests coming up here on GMK, and Tony is like super stoked, as I think everyone else is. Because I, I think it's is. it's kind of fun to see all the different restaurants in our area and what all they have to offer. So, and they have a lot to offer, but we have a bunch of different places coming up in the weeks leading into this. I'm gonna add probably almost another I'd say at least half a cup of this into the into the pile here, but that's okay. Now the bacon, I'm assuming, has already been cooked. It's already been cooked. I went ahead and we just had we had our, our editor Brennan go and just buy the pre-cooked stuff that you can get in the package at the store. I mean, I would prefer to go and you know cook it up myself, but right. here we are. You got bacon. Regrets later. Not quite yet to add it, but once I get this all stirred in with the mayo, how are you feeling there? Feel like I'm, an Iron Chef? I do. That's okay. Maybe we'll have our, you know, I think what would be amazing to get Tony to do, he always talks about behind the scenes, like Mexican food is my jam. And what you have an enchilada <coughs> recipe you in, fa in fact, yes, my Easter tradition is actually enchiladas. Oh, seriously? <laughs> it's enchiladas. So when He'll I get home. say that all the time behind the after, scenes. I'm like, Tony. After a nap, I am going to be prepping my enchiladas for dinner tonight. You'll have to share a picture like people do. And then everybody will go to your page and see say something. Okay, so one and a half cups of the mayo is just perfect here. I go ahead and add about a tablespoon of sugar, and then we'll do about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then I will add about a whole red onion. It's chopped up. I just use what I have in my house. That's how it goes for all. I don't know about you and your recipes, but it's like, I got this, bada bing. Yep. It's not too bad. And then do you mind adding the cheddar cheese? No, it's about no. a little over maybe like a cup and a half of cheddar cheese in here. You can add more, you can add less. It's just fun because look at all the color. It's exciting. And then we can add the bacon and then we can do our sunflower seeds. A nice bit of color and flavors and textures. When I cook my bacon, do you cook yours on the like stovetop or do you oven? bake it, Tony? We, we've done both. Yeah? We've done both. Um, Do you like a particular way? <clears throat> you know, it's it's bacon. It's bacon. It, it's bacon. It it's works. a way to go. I, I, I prefer the greasy kind because I like to cook everything with the bacon. So if yeah. I'm doing like eggs, I'll cook the eggs and the bacon in the same pan. Yeah. I will go, I will admit, like if you're ever using a cheaper bacon, I think baking it is really good and baking it to where it's like super crispy because then it kind of conceals how cheap it is because <laughs> sometimes I bought it before because I'm big on saving money I mean people who who know me know that and it's just like well that's my way around it so look at that all that fun color so I added about a teaspoon of salt I mean you could add and not knock things down a little bit of pepper <laughs> in here for taste too 
but not too bad. And look how fast we made it. We made it within five minutes, yes. tag teaming it up. And what I would suggest is go and put this in a big bowl, toss it in your refrigerator, let it kind of marinate, let those flavors kind of soak up there. And then you have a dish that everybody can go love. And one thing that I thought was funny, so when I was testing this at home lately, I made it with this shredded cheese that includes bacon in it as well. Like Taco <laughs> Bell has a cheese out now. So like bacon's, oh, they have different kinds, but bacon's actually in the shredded cheese. So that was different, but not bad. I was just like, how lazy are we getting here? I was going to say now it's everything's pre-mixed. Yeah, but that's okay. But anyway, go feel free to try it out. I'll make sure that I have the recipe posted on my Facebook page so you can go and see if uh, maybe your family will go and enjoy it as well. But when we come back, we're going to have more of our forecast. We're going to make Tony walk <laughs> all the way across the room at the end of this break to give us a little bit uh, of that weather that we need to know for this next week. Stay with us.